A slip stitch can be used to close up two folded edges, such as the opening in a pillow, but can also be used to secure a folded edge to a flat edge, such as a hem or binding. A slip stitch should be almost invisible from both the right and wrong sides of the fabric. Thread a hand sewing needle with a single thread of silamide and tie a knot at the end. If needed, trim below the knot to remove any excess. Find the top edge of the muslin square, you'll begin slip stitching where you stopped whip stitching. Begin the slip stitch by pushing the needle from the back side of the fold about an eighth an inch from the center and about a sixteenth of an inch down from the inner edge. Pull the thread until the knot catches in the back. It should be between the fold and the front square. Hold the folded edge down a bit with your thumb. Take a tiny prick stitch just below where the folded edge meets the outer fabric. Move forward about an eighth of an inch and take a tiny prick just below the top folded edge. Go through just the inner fabric. The stitch should not be visible from the wrong side of the fabric. Move forward another eighth of an inch and take a tiny prick just below where the folded edge meets the outer fabric. Continue back and forth between the two sides. Be sure to keep the stitches just below the folded edge and do not move up or down towards the outer folded edge. After you have done a few stitches, gently pull the thread to close the seam. The stitching should no longer be visible on the wrong side. The right side should look the same as the whip stitch with just tiny pricks visible. Continue to zigzag back and forth between the two layers until you reach the end. Pull until the seam is brought together, but the fabric still remains flat. When you reach the end, tie a knot. Make a circle with your thread, wrap the thread around the needle twice, and pull the thread until the needle is snug against the fabric. Place your thumb on the thread loops to hold it in place and pull the needle until the knot is tight. Repeat a second time for extra security. Push the needle under the first layer of fabric and come up about a half an inch away. Then clip your thread flush with the fabric. This prevents you from accidentally trimming off your knot. You have now completed the slip stitch and are ready to continue with cross stitching.